Everybody dreams. Everybody has goals. If we're lucky, the things we love and are passionate about can end up supporting us. But sometimes it seems like making a living out of our hobbies is impossible. And in times like that, we need to create our own luck. Hi, uh, my name is Angel and I'm the Chief Entertainment Officer of the Pizza Bar. I love cycling. I've been cycling since I was a little kid. I had a BMX, then a few mountain bikes and a few other, a few other bikes. And bikes uh, have been always part of my life. And um, I love cooking. This is my, this is my thing. A lot of my friends have been asking me uh, why don't you open a restaurant or something. I never work in a restaurant, so that's why I opted for something. We first came across Angel uh, actually on the internet uh, when uh, we heard of this uh, crazy idea of putting a, a pizza oven on the back of a bike, which was, oh dear, this is unusual. Uh, then Angel came to actually see us to uh, if we could supply him with uh, products and uh, artisan um, ranges that we do. Um, uh, we thought we had a, a, a unique and unusual concept, so uh, we uh, we ran with it and uh, helped him all we can. Well, the thing is, like he just posted an um, advertisement on a Facebook group, and he offered a job. So I got the job, and since then we have been working together for like almost one year and a half. I just met him down here. He came in one day to the shop, and um, he was talking to me about. He wanted to, um, he had this bicycle that he brought down and he wanted to fit an electric battery to it so he could tow his pizza trailer with his oven and um, it started from there really. After uh, that great summer that we had, um, I had so many ideas, you know, to how to grow the project, but I didn't have, uh, I didn't have uh, the money, and I needed some help to to push my idea forward. That's why I decided to get to do a crowdfunding campaign. Yeah. But to in order to do that, uh, we need your help, and that's why here on Kickstarter. We launched the campaign, the crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter in November 2015 and uh, 30 days later uh, the campaign failed, we couldn't reach the goal. A lot of things failed in the pizza market actually along the way, but when things fail we have two options, you know, to keep going or give up and I decided to keep going. I never I never have had regrets, you know, starting the whole thing. There have been moments that I wasn't sure, you know, how the project will go and what will happen. But I never regret starting it because it's a very rewarding experience, you know, to make food for people. I've met so many nice people. And it's so worth every every moment, every minute is worth. <clears throat> the biggest struggle is um, is to do everything everything on your own. Because when you're self-employed, is I mean you're the only person who is responsible for everything. You have to organize the events. You have to make the dough. You have to design things, you have to get the ingredients and everything and it's a lot of pressure sometimes. 
but I guess this is just how it is because entrepreneurship is it's a lonely job anyway and sometimes you might be able to share it with someone sometimes you have to keep going on your own but it is what it is today is Sunday and uh, every Sunday I'm at the bell on Walker Street above How was the day, Andrew? I finally had my coffee. It was really good. Yeah. It's still going. <laughs> how I see myself in uh, in the pizza bike? How I see the pizza bike in five years? Um, it's difficult to predict, but the target is um, pizza bike in every city in the world, starting with Bath, Bristol, and Glastonbury, and we'll see from there. Two years ago, one of the first time when I started trading was right here at Green Park Station and it was right over there and it took me two years to move from the other side to move six feet from the other side to here I went to the pizza bike, went through festivals, markets, rain, snow, wind, fire and so on and so on to go through six feet. But it's, uh, small steps. Somebody told me once uh, what are the three most important ingredients to be successful? Work hard, follow your instinct, and be disciplined. This is it. Another day, another door. Mm -hmm. 